Welcome to Technologies. Today we will see how to configure, uh, how to create a system restore, or you can say how to create a checkpoint. We create lot of time. We create a system restore in uh, Windows operating system. It's the same like we can create a checkpoint for a Hyper V. So the machine will, uh, the moment we create a checkpoint, the machine will create a one image and that will store that image all setting at that state. So whenever you are not facing any suspicious thing or you are facing any virus kind of issue, you can restore the system. Like you can use this checkpoint option. So it's very helpful when troubleshooting. So now we will learn how to create a checkpoint. Before that, what I will do for that, just right click over here and click on checkpoint. Now the checkpoint is creating. You can see over here checkpoint. The selected virtual machine has no checkpoints right now. See, you can see the message production checkpoint is created. It's a backup technology that guest operating system was used to create a production checkpoint. So what I will do after creating a checkpoint, I will connect my Windows 11 operating system. In my Windows 11 operating system, what I will do, I will uh, right click and uh, create a file or make some changes like uh, text image, text document. Sample document one. Another document I will create. like virus so now suppose your system is infected through virus and you have to remove this virus and you don't have any you know utility is not working or something like that or you are short, running short of time so at that time what you have to do just just minimize this virtual machine Now we create two file over there, right? So instead of using this operating system, I will click on this checkpoint. Whenever there there was no file was created, so I will choose select this point and I will click on apply. Are you sure you want to apply selected checkpoint? The virtual machine current state will be the lost okay because it's we are considering that is a wireless file so we will click on apply here you can see first it is showing running the moment we click apply checkpoint the state is showing the saving for current status every time you have to click on refresh for current status applying the checkpoint the system will restart after restarting we will check that it is successfully restored or not the file which we created that all are all were gone so 
the restore project successfully done the system restore or we can say the checkpoint is applied successfully so this is how you can create a checkpoint whenever you uh, like uh, you will create you know if there is any windows update so you will create a checkpoint before updating your server so that will be very helpful thank you please subscribe